Hey everyone, I'm going to make one more video tonight. It's about 1 o'clock in the morning. And Bernie Sanders has been predicted as the winner of in Idaho. Um, I want to, you know, I'll, I'll share a couple more stories because there's a couple of things I, I thought of after I made the last video that I'd like to share. Now first, though, I would like to talk about the national coverage. Now, I didn't get it back in time and turn on the TV in time to see the local news coverage of the caucuses tonight. But I did see some of what CNN was doing with their coverage. I eventually turned it off because it it was starting about talking about other things, like, for example, the unfortunate um, terrorist attack in Brussels today. Um, when I wake up tomorrow, I will we'll, we'll look more into that um, it sounds like a bad situation. At least, what, 20 or 40 people have been killed. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'll watch the coverage tomorrow and see what's what actually happened, how many people actually died. Um, just, just a tragedy, that. And, you know, it's kind of weird how that these things kind of have bad timing in that sense. Um, this terrorist attack on the day that some of us are voting here in the United States. Um, not like the terrorists care if we're if we're voting or not, but any terrorist act is is a is a terrible thing, just terrible. I mean, you cannot condemn people who carry out terrorist attacks enough. But right now, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is I've noticed. Well, I noticed in the coverage of CNN that they had their people set up in Boise. Now, I realize that in terms of the total population of, of Idaho, that the Boise area, that's like 25% of the voters in the state of Idaho. Now, and it's also the, the capital of the state and so forth. And even admitting that it was 25% of the population and the, and the voters are there, 75% of the people live outside of Boise. There are, I mean, there was nothing noted about the turnout in um, Bennett County, or I would have liked to have known what the turnout was like in other parts of the state, like Idaho Falls, up north, the whole nine yards. But instead of that, I saw only coverage of the caucus in Boise. Now, I'm sure this record turned out all over the state, but I would have liked to have seen those numbers being presented. I mean, the fact that over 1,500 people showed up in Bannock County to the um, Shoshone Bannock Hotel, which is not near really Pocatello. It's, it's past Chubbuck going north. And I don't know how many people came from Income, McCam and all them that are also there in Bannock County. But, you know, like I said, that's kind of disappointing that you don't, didn't have this coverage of the people who, uh, not, uh, the amount of people that came out to vote in this caucus. Um, I'm personally fascinated and amazed that 1,500 people showed up. I mean, more than 1,500 people. I think it's Mike. 1570 or something like that was the number that was given. So now I'm going to just like share a couple of stories. Now, when I first got into the event center where everybody was at, I kind of made the mistake of standing by this one guy. Well, not really by him. I wasn't right beside him. I was like a, a few feet away, but I was still standing there pretty close to where he was. And all of a sudden, he's like, Bernie! At the top of his lungs. And, I mean, it's close enough that, I mean, after a while, I moved because it was a bit annoying because this guy had quite a voice. I mean, a loud voice. I mean, he could have gotten on the stage and without any microphone be heard by everybody in the, the, um, the room. And I understand being excited, you know. I can't fault them for being that excited. It's just that standing close to the people, to someone who is screaming like that, is kind of hard on my nerves and on my eardrums and all that stuff. Um, 
I thought there was another story I was going to tell. But anyways, again, it was a, it was a fascinating night. It was absolutely terrific. Um, like I said, I don't like crowds normally, and I would have avoided crowds like this in normal circumstances. But I actually had fun. I mean, seeing all this excitement about the political process and about the candidates, even even the enthusiasm and excitement of the Hillary crowd was really just something that I enjoyed watching. And the, the whole process of the caucus, is, it's, it's a fascinating thing. But this is all I'm going to say tonight. Um, I'm going to go to bed soon. Yeah, you don't, matter, don't care about that. But anyways, consider liking this, thumbs upping it, you know, and commenting and sharing this video. And if you see potential in this channel and in my abilities as a commentator to talk about news items, the politics, religion, and so forth, please subscribe to the channel. And as always, everybody, stay awesome.